Hello everybody, I hope you are doing well. Due to time constraints with the Thanksgiving holiday here in the U.S. and also because of the fact that I have weekly still to get out, I'm going to have to change the date frame on the ones that are, date time frame on the ones that are coming out tonight. I decided that since this is going to be for three days, I'm also going to use three oracle cards. So we're going to have the Romance Angels, Sacred Traveler, and Mystical Wisdom in each of the readings that are for the 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Scorpio, it looks like this is your last one where you are going to be first in the rotation because the next ones will be Sagittarius, who is first during their season. So, um, everybody, let's go ahead and let's get started. Hello, Sagittarius. Good news. After this grouping yours are going to be first because it's Sagittarius season coming up. So, my dear Sagittarius, what have we got here for you? One thing I would like to mention is that your Romance Angels cards seem to be off from whatever's going on here. Um, I do see, so we've got, let me show you the cards we have and then I'll read for you. I pre-shuffled and everything off camera trying to save some time on uploading. We have potential. Think big for your future. I love this. It's like, you know, this this childlike faith, right? The, the childlike faith of this card and looking on the snow globe and it's like the angels saying, if you want peace, think about this. You know, it's almost like you're being guided on some big dream of yours. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. You have a lot of cards here about moving forward. So we have great adventure, taking risk, venture forward. Now in your romance angel cards, we got keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. I feel like with all this forward movement and other areas of your life that you're trying to decide whether or not you even want to pursue a relationship with somebody. Um, we have the world card, the eight of cups, the chariot, the fool, And strength. All right, Sagittarius. So what I'm what I'm seeing here is that there's some aspect of your life that has come to an end of a cycle with the World card here, and the World card is telling you to appreciate how far you've come in your life, to to look back on the things that that you've been through and how they helped you to get to where you are today, and and you know, what kind of lessons you learned from those things. It's looking at life from a very clear perspective, recognizing that there have been moments in your life that have been wonderful and beautiful, and that although this particular cycle is coming to an end, you are ready, you are strong, and you are confident and experience a great deal of harmony and peace as you move forward to another area of your life. Life's always in cycles, you know? It's kind of like, just like nature is in cycles. And I see here that there is, there is some sort of dream, something that, that you are wanting to move towards. Perhaps you've been told of a potential offer in, with your career. Perhaps you're considering going back to school, you know, in the in the winter season. Or if you're in the southern hemisphere, you know, you might be looking at going back to school here soon. So you could be going back to school, you could be going, you could be taking some classes to learn something new. Um, there's something that you're wanting to do in your life that's a very, very big goal, big dream of yours. And it involves taking some sort of risk. 
Maybe the risk is moving to an area that you're not familiar with, moving to a new new city where you don't know anybody, or you know something something that is a little bit on the scary side. You might be leaving a job that you've been very secure in to start something new that you're a little bit uncertain of. Um, whatever the risk is that you're taking, you're very enthusiastic about it. We see here with the fool. And you're willing to leave behind all the things that were blocking you from moving forward with this Eight of Cups. And this is something that you're very passionate about, something that you're very excited about doing. So whether this is an area of your career or an area of a project or something that you're wanting to learn, something that you're wanting to, you might be wanting to, um, you know, work on yourself in some way. This could be self-improvement. This could be, you know, travel, travel to some new, new place. Um, maybe moving to a new city, new town. It also could be in the area of love, but I'm really not feeling that here. I'm not feeling that energy. But you're definitely leaving behind the things that were blocking you and moving towards an unknown future. With confidence, your path is going to be illuminated as you move forward. Now I feel, Sagittarius, that you have a desire to move forward very, very quickly with this chariot. The chariot in this particular deck is on its victory lap. We see the victory wreath on his head, and he's on his victory lap. So it's like the last leg of the journey. You know you're going to accomplish what you want to accomplish. You know you're going to arrive where you want to arrive. You feel like you have stepped up in some area of your life, and you're on your way to achieving that victory with this movement forward. Now the movement forward is a little bit daunting with the fool. It's a little bit, you know, something that you don't really see exactly where you're going as we see with the eight of cups and with the fool. But you're being led by your heart and your mind. There's a real passion and enthusiasm for this new journey of yours, this new direction in your life, Sagittarius. You're gonna have to let go of fear in order to make that movement forward and really open up open up your heart follow your heart towards whatever new beginning whatever new big future oh for some of you i just i just got somebody's trying to decide somebody's trying to decide whether or not they want to propose out there it's weird for me to get that because this is i i feel no love in this energy <laughs> Um, but in that fool card, I just felt that very strongly. So for whomever that is for, um, I feel like you're trying to make that decision very soon. Clearly decide what you want. And also, if you're trying to make that decision and your soulmate is different from what you usually, you usually are attracted to, um, keep an open mind, it says here. So with the fool, with the fool card, you're being told to let go of that fear and embrace this new journey, embrace the new direction that you're headed to in your life, because it's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment. I see that it is going to be a little bit of a struggle as you move forward, though, because we do have the strength card, which talks about endurance and having the strength to push forward and to leave the past behind you. It's focusing on yourself in the growth that you want to see in your life, in some area of your life. It's perseverance, being an overcomer, not being worried about what other people say, not being worried about, about you know, the, the details that led up to the journey, but only moving forward. Any past hurts, past difficulties that, are pre that were preventing you from moving forward, following this dream are, are going to be gone. Sagittarius, this looks like a really beautiful thing. Uh, this could be in any area of your life. And if you've been watching this and, and this resonated for you, you know what area of your life this is. 
but this could apply to anything. It could it could apply to career moves. It could apply to going back to school. It can be applied to. It could apply to uh, reconnecting with a long lost friend, or you know, traveling to a new city, working on your bucket list item. You know, there may be a bucket list item you're working on. It could be any area of your life, Sagittarius. But it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're here in the United States. And I will see you soon. Remember, you guys are first on Friday. So um, keep an eye out for that. And uh, please be sure to subscribe to the channel before you leave. Have a great day. See you soon.